One of the things that became necessary as Serve the World sort of gained momentum was creating um, a structure to it. First of all, you need accountability for the funds that are coming in. You need decision making for how they're going to be used. And then part of that was creating a, a Serve the World committee. So there's four others that brood over these decisions every six months. That team that Bruce leads, they vet the financial accountability of the ministry, they vet everything about that ministry before we decide to commit funds. So this team comes out of the room together, unified on each of the decisions, with excitement and confidence in how we are re-stewarding the generosity of Chapel Street Church. So each gift that is given to serve the world leaves Chapel Street Church. All funds are redistributed across the street and around the world. Huge to understand that. We don't keep any of it. Secondly, it's always going to make a gospel impact and make Jesus famous. And then finally, each gift is given with the vision that it's not dependent on us. That ministry will continue because we just help them get over a big hurdle, but the sustainability of that ministry is gonna be well beyond the cashing of the check that we send them. What I've realized is the relationships that grow in Serve the World partnerships are with people. And as you spend time with people, you discover their hearts. And your heart starts to beat for the things that their heart beats for. My name is Michelle Claceris, and I have been serving on the board for Caring Network Aurora since 2021. Chapel Street Church highlighted Caring Network for our Serve the World, and I was not familiar with them before that, but God had already been prompting my heart, stirring a desire in my heart to serve in a new way. Hearing about the work of Caring Network mattered to me because I want women who are abortion-minded, those who are setting out to seek out an abortion, to find a clinic. I want her to know that there are people that love her, that care about her, that care about the baby. When our team looks at applications, a lot of time what grabs our heart is realizing that if we were able to give to them at this very moment, it would be a breakthrough for their ministry impact. Chapel Street Church was extremely generous. They were able to raise $250,000, and we are incredibly grateful to our Chapel Street family. What we were able to do with those $250,000 is actually two clinics. One is set up for Austin, just outside the city of Chicago, and then one in the city of Aurora. And that's the one that I have the joy of serving with. Each of the Serve the World partners has a story. The, the human trafficking space was one that was mind-blowing to a guy in his mid-40s when Naomi's house approached us. And I discovered that human trafficking was in the United States and it was in the western suburbs. It was on Randall Road. My name is Simone Halpin. I'm the executive director and co-founder of Naomi's House. We believe that every woman who's been commercially sexually exploited deserves a new start. In the last seven years since we started serving women, we have grown from serving five women through our residential program to having three programs in four locations throughout the Chicagoland area. And as we finish 2023, we have served 194 women. I think this story represents to me obviously and very clearly God's faithfulness. But something that we say all the time at Naomi's house that we believe and that we, we witness happen in the lives of the women we serve is that it takes an entire community to come alongside a woman's life after it's been shattered from exploitation and trafficking. And Chapel Street demonstrated that. They said, we believe in the mission of Naomi's house. We believe in the dignity of women. We believe in the restoration of someone's life that has experienced such evil. Simone helped me get her heart for women that were being trafficked. As we continue to serve the world, my hope is that Chapel Streeters will grasp one of the stories, one of the relationships, and individually figure out how they can be a part of the story.